this Youth Against Violence educational workshop. You know, we're standing here at the high, at the Hall of Fame, Annual 23. But I've been, I've met so many powerful men on tonight. But I'm going to tell you, I remember this man, this grown man, when I was a baby. And guess what? He kicked me to the curb. But it's all good. Remember that in Madison Square Garden? Because I looked at him. He looked, and I th just what was, you know, he looked, he looked at me. I'm a grown man. But you know what? I commend you. I commend you because I've seen you all through Atlanta, and you're still doing your thing. Speak to the youth for me. I'm kicking it to the curb so much that I'm programming in her phone my number. Now, that's some, that's some curb kicking like I've never seen before in my life. That's how you kick somebody to the curb. You give them your personal cell phone number. That's how we do in Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to be bothered with you, so I'm just going to give you my personal cell phone number because I don't want nothing to do with you. That's how we get down. First of all, you got to understand. This is New York in New York. You, to have a conversation, you got to have your energy at a whole different level. Whole different See, when I speak to my ATL friends, you know, we have a different kind of vibe. But I'm from Brooklyn, you know what I'm saying? And she representing the NY. So that's why we have to, you know, do what we do. We have to make it do what it do. So, so, so what's the business? Could you talk to the youth for me? Encourage the youth. Youth, be encouraged. For real. Like, be encouraged. No, you know... To, to encourage the youth. <laughs> no, but for real, you know, to be encouraged, you you, you first got to realize and understand that you have a purpose in life. And that means you, you are here for a reason. And once you find out why you're here, once you figure out your purpose, once you, fi once you figure out what you want to do to make your, your mark in life, then that's where you become meaningful to not only to your family, to your society, but most of all to yourself. Because there's no self, no kind of accomplishment than to make yourself feel good. You know what I mean? You get a spring in your step and you wake up in the morning with a mission in your heart and in your mind. And you go out into the world and you make great things happen. And people are proud to see you and they see you across the street and they salute you because they have honor for you and you have honor for yourself. So if you want to go out there and you want to do it big, do it big so your light shines so well that everybody wants to know who you are, that everybody wants to know how can I be down. Do it big so everybody wants to be like you. You become the leader, okay, and then they become the followers. That's how you do it big, and and that's what I do. I went to Clark Atlanta University. I started doing show business, and, and, and all I wanted to do, I didn't care about the fame, truthfully, and, and I didn't know how much all I was getting paid, truthfully. But you know what? I just wanted to do a great job. So at the end of the day, you're like, who is that guy? But you know what? I and that's how we did it. You did a great job. I appreciate that. I used that. to watch you. You know, th that was the best show. I used to watch you. And still want to watch it, but he moves too quick. When I call him, he's on the golf course. He's on the golf course. But I love you. Keep doing what you're Thank doing. You I'm going to so call much. you. Can I have my track? Absolutely. Can I? And I'm very serious. I got you. All right. I love you. I love you.